Hello, I'm Anticio Duke, and I want to thank you for stopping by. For those of you that are new here to this channel, welcome. Many people think that designers come up with a lot of these ideas and app screens and interfaces out of the blue. Think of different colors, think of different imagery to make and create these applications. Well, I have you know that great designers have a process like any other industry. They have their own process of getting to great design. So we're gonna talk about that today. And we're gonna cover the topic of design thinking. Stay tuned for more. We're talking about design thinking. And yes, there are times where app designers and designers alike come up with amazing ideas on the spot. But a lot of that comes from a history and experience and education into how to filter through things and create great design. So we'll cover the stages of design thinking, which have been shown, displayed, and taught everywhere. Think of IDEO. Think of D School and Stanford. These institutions and programs and agencies have built numerous careers and programs around design thinking. It all starts with looking at the user, which is step one, to have empathy. Now put yourself in the shoes of a user, of a person who has an issue, has a concern, and is looking for a solution to solve. That is how you gain empathy. If that user was someone close to you and you approached that conversation or that dialogue openly, honestly, with care consideration, you would actually learn more authentically than you would from someone with reservation. So that's the first tip, empathize. Then you define the problem. You go through a series of steps of understanding what's the core of the problem. It's like a doctor diagnosing anything or a mechanic for that matter. You want to look at and uncover and filter through to understand what is the core issue, what's driving it, and create a statement around that. That's how you define that problem. First, <laughs> gain empathy. Create a defined problem. Next thing to do is get creative. You want to ideate. And that is when you start thinking of solutions that are outside the box. Don't think granularly. You want to stretch the imagination. You want to think of possible solutions in all facets, in all areas, to try to find the best solution that's suitable for the issues you uncover. This is the fun time where you can Think wild, I encourage it. And don't look directly in the industry at hand. Start to explore, look at different areas in the world. Take a walk, read a book, magazines, different industry, pet food versus maybe insurance products, whatever it is. But start to think outside of the box, outside of the norm. That's where real innovation happens. Now, once you start to ideate, once you get creative in those solutions, you have to do something to validate. And that's where you prototype. This is a great step because it's low cost, it's minimal. In neighborhoods where I grew up, there were kids who actually put up milk crates as basketball hoops. This was to improvise and create a prototype for something that simulated the concept gave them an idea of the core direction of product. In this stage, I've seen paper prototypes for mobile apps. It's really, really validating the concept and the solution that you're really trying to approach and help a user with. So don't be scared, don't be frightened, don't run from it. Embrace everything because you get to the best solutions when you do that. 
Now, we have gained empathy and understood sort of the problem at hand for our user. Then we defined it. We created a statement around how, what, how many, <laughs> The list can go on with the questions, but as long as you define that problem, you're better off knowing what to then the next step, ideate on. And then, once you ideate, you have the advantage of prototyping, getting to the first staged product, just to validate the idea, okay? The last thing you wanna do after you've built up this sort of phased approach to developing great products, then you want to test it. <laughs> That's right. Go out in the wild, test it. Put it in front of your targeted users, the demographic that you're servicing. Put it out there in the wild and get amazing feedback because the people's with the problem that you have and that you're solving for will give you direct feedback on if it does just that. This is what people spend their whole lives dedicated to. Really good designers understand design thinking. So that's all I have today. If you know someone who's interested or thinking about it, transitioning to becoming a designer, who really is you know, on the fence about what design thinking is send this their way share this in the meantime hit that subscribe button we can talk more about design and all the beautiful things that creativity has to offer so i'm signing off but just know your life has color so design it that way i'll see you in the next one